Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take another look at conduction, but with convection. So let's say we have a single pane window, and we want to know the heat loss through the window when the temperature outside is 0 degrees Celsius and the temperature inside is 20 degrees Celsius. The area of the window is 1 square meter. It's made out of glass. It's 0.5 centimeters thick. It has a heat conductivity constant of 0.8 watts per meter per Kelvin. But now what we're realizing is that the outside surface of the glass will not be at 0 degrees Celsius and the inside surface of the glass will not be at 20 degrees Celsius. Heat has to be removed from that surface and that is dependent upon how much wind and motion there is of the air outside and the same on the inside. And to express that we have what we call constants as well that are convection constants and they need to be determined depending upon the circumstances. So let's say that on the outside there's a little bit more wind. It is 20 watts per meter squared per Kelvin and on the inside there's less motion of air and so we call it 10 watts per meter squared per Kelvin. Then the equation becomes as follows. It's the difference in the temperature divided by 1 over the convection constant times the area of the glass. We have that for the outside and we have 1 over K times A for the inside. And then we still have the length of the path through the glass divided by the conductivity constant of the glass times the surface area of the window. And that is essentially the problem. That is how you set it up. Of course, you need to know what these two constants are for the convection. You need to know what the constant is, the constant is for the glass, the thickness of the glass. And at that point, you just plug in the numbers, use a little algebra, and you find the heat loss through the window. All right, let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. All right, so you can see that all you need to know is the equation, how to use it. Plug in some numbers, do a little algebra, and you get the result. And that is how it's done.